Hi guys, this is Leif at Weird Designs. Today I'm going to talk about the adapters or how to make them in, in uh, the Fusion 360. I have a tendency to use a lot of adapters in my workshop because I have an industrial vacuum cleaner that has one size on the hose and uh, every one of my tool uh, is a different diameter of course. So, uh, I think I have about 8 or 10 different adapters to come and try to connect it. So uh, I will show you two different ways on how you can use uh, the loft command in uh, Fusion 360 to make an adapter. So let's get started. First we need to create a sketch. And uh, I know my vacuum cleaner has an inner di needs an inner diameter of 45 mm, and we have a thickness of the adapter of uh, 3 mm, which makes it in total 51. So, create another sketch, and in this case, <coughs> I'm going to need the inner diameter to be 80, so it makes it 86. And uh, the way we can make this is actually moving this circle up doesn't have to be precise and we rotate it 90 degrees and there we have the first sketch for this now I'm going to create another sketch which is going to be the guide drive and guide rails for uh, lofting the adapter and since we don't have any way to attach the guide rails here, we need to project those two surfaces like this. And then we can see you have the arm points to attach the guide rails to. So use a 3D org, connect those arm points, something like this, and something like this. And then you have the finished sketch to do the lofting. So enter the loft command, choose the two profiles, and if you don't have any guide rails, it's just going to look like this. It's going to go the straightest way from between the two profiles. And if we attach a guide rail, and we attach that guide rail, it's going to look like this. So then we have the <coughs> solid body for the adapter, and of course we need to have something to be able to pass <laughs> something through this, so we need to make a hole in it. And the way we do this is use the shell command. And shell command actually says you can select faces, not only one face. So we select both faces, make it 3 millimeters, and then we have a perfect hole through the adapter. And the last step is just to extrude the face, so we have something to put the hose on. And the same for the bottom. And there you have the perfect adapter. So this is one way to do it. <laughs> and I think uh, this works. You have the ability to tweak two guide rails. Uh, in the next step, yeah, I think it's uh, a bit easier to do it, but uh, you are also limited just to have a center line, so let's go ahead and try that one. So, we start with a new sketch. In this case, I'm going to start from what I think, believe is the side on this one. I'm going to create a spline. We don't need any points in the middle, just from A to B, so to speak. So, put that up here, and take that one like this. <coughs> so we have the rail that we're going to loft, uh, <coughs> we can create a loft along. And in this case, we're going to use the plane along the path, and we drag the first plane down to the bottom, I'm going to create another one on the same path that will bring up to the top. And then you have to sketch surfaces to make the circles on. So we start with the first 
something like that with the circle, and we know it's going to be 51. Finish that sketch. Create another sketch on this surface. That's going to be 86. And finish that sketch. And now we can enter the loft command. Same procedure here, select the boat on this, but this time we're going to use center line as a guide rail and select that one. So the result is pretty much the same. You can see it gets a bit twisted down here because we didn't tweak the guideline exactly. We could put in some extra points on that one and make it a bit smoother. So we can actually go back to the first sketch. Select that point. I think we can make it something like this instead. Then you do the same procedure with this one. Use the shell command. And then you do the extrusion on the bottom and the top, the same as we did before. So I think this is one way to do it. I think this is uh, easier if you just uh, after a simple adapter. Uh, you have some limitations because you can't tweak the guidelines uh, more than you just have a center line to tweak. You don't have an upper and low line. But for a simple adapter, I think this is just perfect. So, hope you learned something and see you next time.